Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to map number two, Penta versus Quest, here for the close qualifier, RGN close qualif qualifier for our Pro Series 2016, and uh, this is the loser bracket final of Group B, so again, loser drops out of the close qualifier, winner will mo move on to the playoff bracket, Penta up a map, and we're going to see Quest execute onto A here on their pistol round, they've got a smoke towards CT, went towards... Uh, well, they've got one on stairs, one on jungle. They actually flash through into jungle to post up. So we'll see how this pans out. Quest with some forward positions. Ooh, Lowell trying to find the head of Rami towards the A side. That would be everybody down from Quest. And they're losing the duel at middle. 1-1 one, one by the player inside of jungle. But his teammate is down. It's all up to Z1. The bomb is kind of planted for him. But the problem is he's got to get through this crossfire already set up by Penta. Won't be able to do that. Lots to highlight on that pistol round. Quest... They double naded towards Ticket. They didn't get the frag. He gets down to 22 HP. Penta. There's, both of their CT pistols have been with uh, a risky, not as heavy of a setup this time, but a, a stack somewhere on the map. This time it was at the Ticket booth. So unfortunate that Quest don't get that kill. And then Penta triple push through the smoke as Quest are trying to gain control of Connector as well as Jungle. So that leaves the players vulnerable to the Ticket Rush by Penta. So interesting pistol round there. Something, uh, one we don't see often. My guess might be able to make a lot of money in this round. He's made it through the underpass area. He's waiting for the queue to push as Thompson is going to spot a lot of players. And here we go. Mike guess coming up from behind. We'll see if uh, Quest can find anything on their way in. They do drop Tossin, and that should be able to net them the bomb plan to the very least, unless Mike Guess can deny it. Not going to be the case, so 2 on 4. Players remaining on that T side not equipped at all, so this should be an easy set of frags. They do take down Mike Guess, so more damage dealt to frags at a bomb plan. Can't argue with that, considering they were saving for the next round here. Uh, they're, they're going to have their first rifle round be in the next round. Uh, they would have even if they didn't get the bomb plant because they had that bomb plant in the first. But you can see now they get all that utility. You can even get a knock on Z1. And they will. No questions. He buys that immediately. Doesn't have the greatest of spawns. It's always hard to tell if, uh, what the opera is going to do based upon his position and where he's looking. When he, I thought he was might go for the A main play quickly, but he is trying to go out middle. You can get the advantage here if a rifler likes to post up inside of that mid room and some aggression from Penta. Good counter flashes by Quest. Crystal's not done. He's going to push all the way through. Finds a blind Walter. Z1 looking to trade off Crystal. Hanging around. He wanted both of those frags. Could have had time to fall back, but was, uh, had that bloodlust that round. Nice trade by Z1, at least keeping himself alive. But now we'll see a reset on the round. Both teams will just suffer the one player loss at mid and slow it down dramatically. Kyrie's going to stay inside of the window room. Lowell is alone towards A. And as we can see, Quest is heavy towards this B side. They haven't fully committed to it, but considering we're going to see their A presence pulled back, Rami. On his way over to rendezvous with the rest of the players. So I imagine we'll see a B-side hit. And they've got utility to be able to do so. Uh, it just comes down to, is Penta playing the positions that they're going to isolate? If they decide to drop some smokes, of course, there's some smokes for bench. Smokes for catwalk and such. But with 40 seconds remaining, okay, they will head towards the apartments further here. So it is going to be the case as they line up some grenades. But... Can they actually get enough down to make this... Of course, it's never going to be a safe entry, but make their lives a little bit easier. We see some Molotovs raining out. There's a couple smokes towards Catwalk, like I had highlighted. None towards Bench, and Mike guess is playing inside of the bombsite. That ninja angle only takes down one. And then Tossin comes into play. Able to drop another. Now two on two. They've got 15 seconds to come into the bomb plant, but Lowell spoils their plan. Z1 all alone needs to find some swift frags. But it's not going to be the case. And this is what I was worried about. Penta able to win the round. And all of a sudden, they get an AW, AWP for free into their economy. Well, of course, not for free. They had to win the round. But still, Penta. Everything going their way. What is what is Mike's doing with, uh, with the P90? I, I suppose <laughs> you, you, you know it's going to be an eco round. It's like, if there's any round, you're going to bust out the P90. But then it begs the question, like, hey, man, why don't you just, if you want an SMG, why don't you make a little money on top of that? But, but he's been uh, doing the MP9 play specifically towards the... He already did this with an MP9. Maybe he's like, ah, it wasn't wasn't the mow down I was looking for. I need to be a little bit more ruthless on this and uh, just take down some bodies a little quicker. I have no idea. But again, the lack of money 
I suppose he's, he's, you're a little bit more prepared for if they bought some armor with this, but I don't know. Still, I left the MP9. I think you see the same results. Uh, either way, this goes down, but I'll have extra bullets, a little more impact on them, as the bomb plant will be denied. Walter does have a weapon, but he's not going to expect the P90 flank. There it is, and he'll trade it off. <laughs> uh, dude, that's like 2,000 extra dollars you could have had right there. By, by saving money on the SMG, I, we'll stop highlighting it. Everybody knows the math of the equation. Mike's, you got to get it together. Indeed. Let's see if Quest can find anything moving forward here. 4-0, to zero. not a fun start to their map choice, considering how well things went. Uh, again, if you lose pistol round, but you can get two bomb plants in a row, um, you're always going to be happy about that, but they weren't able to convert. So Penta, they continue increasing their own round score, and that AWP again on Mike S, as he's positioned towards Connector. Uh, the mid room is smoked off. Crystal is trying to find an edge in it. I do not believe he has. This is going to be bad for Quest. Like, the moment Quest try to go for the slow the slow mid control, it looks like Penta is setting up the, the triple engagement, or the, the, the crippling play from, from all angles of mid as a player jumps into underground. Wow. I thought this was going to be a collapse onto mid, but then Penta just fall off while aggressing a player. I don't know if I agree with that. I need to see on this replay how Crystal pulled that off. I think he threw a forward, okay, he threw a forward smoke that kind of just allowed him to pounce out of out of the window area. Again, Crystal so so creative with this random aggression, and well, he's not punished for it. Well, eventually he is, but at least gets the one out of it. So four and four, as we see the A bomb site being taken. Kyrie is playing the firebox location. You don't really expect someone to just be hiding out here and waiting for the bomb to go down, but it's a very impactful spot if they do not check it, and you can come alive from there. So Kyrie doing exactly that. Two frags, and the rest of the team is able to chime in. I I, I feel like you could make a bit of a comparison like Pit on like Inferno, the, the A bomb site. If you don't check Pit, you don't clear it, like and a player Dark is still out of the CT side. You're just like, it's beautiful, you know? So, um, yeah, yeah, Dark Spot would be as well. Very similar situation. So, gotta be checking that. Uh, especially if you are not coming from T-Spawn. You're coming up from Connector. Like, we see it all the time where a player is just snuck in a palace and late round just pounces on the on the T's after they take from Connector. You need to be clear in those spots. And, well, quest they pay for it. It's, it's very hard to stay diligent in clearing all those spots too especially when more of the high volume spots are the spots you want to clear and you want to get of course get the bomb down as soon as possible to deny yeah. chance of the retakes it's it's just a slope that's uh it's hard to tread and you're sometimes hoping that the players aren't there and just willing to say hey if they're there they win but i don't think it was that was one of those uh, situations as Quest going for a split onto A, they've been pretty much given the mid control this time. Tossin will try to deny it this round for Quest. Fantastic. Still not out of the woods yet, though, is Crystal. He's staying sneaky on the stairs. And this play by him, I mean, this is looking like another one of those rounds where it's just Crystals. Yeah, he's able to take down two on the stairs. Minimal damage. Dealt him. Down to 47. Z1 finds Mike S. And Lowell falls as well. So it's Crystal. Man on the mission. 1v3. Gonna spam down NSW. Oh. NSW to find him through the smoke. So able to find his tracers and five to one. So quest they are able to find their first round. Kind of uh, I don't know. I'm trying to remember remember how exactly those uh, first frags came in. It looked to be more of a brute force strategy. So I'm wondering if quest can employ that yet again and find success, or if that was kind of uh, the one trick pony, so to speak. I think Penta will open up into more of a heavy mid setup here. Uh, let's see how alright I am with that. Well, Kyrie will engage from the bottom while they have the op on top. Crystal trying to fire some from the window. So not as heavy of a mid collapse as I expected. Quest not going for the same setup twice though. Last round they just ran two players down mid and then I think it was Tossin who tried to grab the tail end of that play. Oh, he was caught out as he aggressed from the catwalk. So not the adjustment that I foresaw. An adjustment nonetheless from Penta. As I have Kyrie just lurking inside the connector. I think Quest is just waiting a bit longer before they do set up more aggressive of a mid control. But they have one player on each wing. One in the apartments and one at the bottom of A stairs. So it's still hard to tell where they're going with this. But they do have that player down deep mid. And that is something that increases the effectiveness of... Uh, 
either side of the map if you can get Fenny inside the connector. But I think Quest will go towards the B-bomb site here, so Crystal will be tested. But sometimes this op of uh, Crystal can go off. We'll see how this works out. Crystal will be that first line of defense. Would love to find a frag and then fall off. And toss in towards Catwalk. Does not have any utility to help him out. Z1 goes for the crouch peak. He will pay for it. 20 seconds to make this take where Crystal finds another as they dive under the window. Toss it right underneath. He will be dropped by Rami. But considering Fenny is on the flank here, it needs to create a lot of action. That at all. Rami with the second. Ooh. Put down by the pistol of Crystal. And 6-1. to one. Pick one up, lose the one thereafter. Quest in a bad, bad way here. Zero frags on Walter thus far. That, that, that's not good at all. Now, last time that was uh, Rami's spot, I think, with the it was double right. seven. At least Walter has an assist, though. I'm not sure if he'd rather be James Bond in this spot. But what's the adjustment here from Quest? The one round that went right was the fast A play. Now, was that due to... The setup of Penta that it was successful. Say Penta do the 1-3-1 one, one at middle that round and they go for heavier of a mid contest at the beginning. I don't see that working because they wouldn't have gotten the mid control so easily. And I don't think Tossin would have went down without a trade on the catwalk. So there's not much that Quest can take away from that one round that they won. Other than Penta sometimes will play mid soft. Like I don't know what other read Quest can really get because now Crystal... He has the op, and Penta are going to go into it, uh, the double op setup. I'm not sure if they had that last round. I don't feel like they did. But going uh, back to Crystal at the B side, I don't know if uh, he's been playing B with the op all that often. So it's, it's just so many parts of the equation that Quest just don't have a guaranteed value for. And well, my guess looks like he's just trying all the SMGs at this point. He's like, <laughs> which one... <laughs> I'm looking for a new golden SMG. Which one Which one should I make that? He's going with the the Bison. I, I, I don't see that often at all. So I'd like to see him go crazy with it. Oh, it's going to happen, Laser. Here we go. He finds the first one. He's got three more to deal with inside of the palace. Line him up one by one. The quad and the ace. The Bison ace. Ladies and gentlemen, take a bow, my guest. Damn it. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> or, right. the, he, he gets what he wanted at least it wasn't with the, the p90 this time because how, how much right. extra money is it like oh 4500 minus three that's, that's, that's a lot i'm not gonna do the math i tried already quest that's a demoralizer you never want to get aced and that's Especially one of those rounds when, when you hear <laughs> when you hear it start up and start spraying and you know like oh god i gotta go for the trade but uh, i'm probably just gonna donate this ace Lots of money made by Mike S. Double up on Penta. Of course, that's going to help their money. Heavier of a mid setup. Similar attempt. This is the same play what what Crest uh, won with last time, but heavier of a mid setup here by Penta. I see Tossin on an MP9. He might come into play Whoa. eventually as he's pushed through. That was an awkward look towards the mid connector area, but Fenny knows they're stuck inside connector. He does drop Mike S, but Kyrie still left to be dealt with, and NSW gets it done, so now it's only Tossin, and he jumps around the corner towards the A-ramp area, and he's dealt with by Rami, so uh, Quest able to take another, and uh, a little similar to what we saw on the, the last round they took, so maybe more of that, if... Uh... I still feel like it's the Penta setup that allowed that to work, because both rounds that we did not see a 1-3-1 there, that round they're attempting some sort of like weird double up, Nobody on top of the catwalk, so that's a whole angle that Quest doesn't have to worry about. And we're going to see it again here. I want to see a 1-3-1 one, one from Penta. Just stop the two players at mid. That's all they have to do. Kyrie taking the fight early here. He does not have help just yet. Mike guess is watching connector. Crystal has yet to commit to middle, but Kyrie takes down both. The two range and flashes in. Mike guess follows it up, and so does Lowell. So Z1 all alone here. Again, they got no money to lose this round, so they drop it, pick up one round, lose the one they're after, and that is exactly how a, a, a horrible half goes down, essentially. Again, you got Walter, 0, 1, and 10. Um, Quest has just had no success outside of those two rounds, obviously. Yeah, it's all Quest, all Penta had to do is go for the 1-3-1 one, one in that situation, because... And... 
both of the the rounds that quested one was the three two let's send two players down mid as fast as possible get them in the connector or go for the mid boost as fast as possible they get crushed uh on that round because finally pensa go for that one three one and stop the bleeding at mid they win from there and the adjustment has been made i don't think quest can go back to that even though it's the only two gun rounds they've won so the obvious read from that is well that's the only gun rounds we've won so we have to go back from that but now penta has figured out the solution oh, i don't think they need to figure it out that they knew but it just came down to whether they thought quest was going to go for that same strategy or not but giving up a bomb plan here i've been just talking about the previous rounds what happened here yeah, Crystal was caught with a nade out. I thought he would go down earlier, but a, a player decided to just kind of like drive by him once on the chest and then leave it up to his teammates. And eventually they got it done, but Penta on the retake, not allowing anything to go the way of Quest after that first frag in the bomb plant. So, silver lining at the very least. But yeah, Crystal was playing in the center of the bomb site. He watched one player just run right past him and put like one Glock shot into him as he was throwing a nade. So, could have just finished that kill, but... And then Crystal just <laughs> goes towards the bottom of the balcony and just spots players galore. And you can't actually pick a target to put down. So, Quest, they find a bomb plant, which allows for a little bit more in this round, as we can see. But will it equate to be enough? They've got three towards middle early here. That mid-smoke, or rather on the catwalk, and Molotov's raining in towards connector and window. So, trying to deny any of this play, but Crystal fast on the catwalk. It will be flashed off. You'll meet them as soon as they make it up towards Cat. So, unfortunate for him, the timing did not pan out. Tossin needs to come up big from the center of the bomb site, and he can't find very much at all. One burning frag on Harami, but that's it. And Tossin just chose a side. <laughs> players were already out of the apartments, but Tossin just ignored them. One of the players coming up from the catwalk. Still a position that Penta will go for it. They're just trying to wait for the flank to arrive. But I think Lowell, if he walks the whole way, it might be too late for him. It's going to come down to the timing. Well, the apartments player has been dropped, but now only two players left for Penta. And not enough time for Lowell to come in and clear everything. He's got to get a move. Oh. And now his position already known. Oh, NSW falls. Quest cannot lose this round. Fenny with a chance. He's got to escape Lowell, and he's not going to be able to. Just enough time to get that defuse, I think. Yes. Penta wow. gets it. 10 to 2. Yeah, that just sucks for Quest. What a round. That's one of the rounds where you're like, how did, guys, guys, how did we lose that? And one of the frags that made a difference in my eyes was, I think Walter was playing outside of the window. A tricky flash comes out, and he was blind for, for ages as uh, the player was just able to get out the window, out of the smoke. He gives up his back to Walter, and then it turns around and spots him and kills him. Like, it was fully white screen. And then from there on out, the, the flank comes into play. Quest just dropping the rounds that should be taken in a, another win in their column, certainly. And with that victory, maybe create a bit of a T side for themselves. But on two rounds, that will not be enough in my eyes. As Tassin does go down towards middle, but early success to the CT side. They basically dumpster this A side play. And Kyrie follows it up with an 8. So 11-2, to Quest. It's not looking good. Yeah, they try to go back to the same strat, the only strat that's gotten them two rounds, but it's such a simple strat. But sometimes that's what you need if you're if you're tricky, maybe slow play or your executions that are heavy aren't going right. Sometimes just a simple 3-2 or, or in that sense, a 2-1-2, two, two, I think it was. Uh, two players coming from middle for a quest. That time, Tossin uh, gets the better of the two players at mid. It was another setup for Penta that was vulnerable. To that play by quest which has kind of been working because tossin's alone at mid but that time he wins it and uh, everything goes wrong for quest uh, another dot problem or last time it was a tactical from quest i don't know what you go for here if you're quest i mean well they got a thing... frag in the last round that's exciting right oh he's, he's, on, on, the he's on the board oh my god chat i didn't even <laughs> I didn't even know he was 0-13 and 13 until then. I didn't think anybody would fall harder than Rami did that one match, but I, I guess it's Walter's turn to, uh, to hit the bottom. Sad times indeed. 1-1-13. One, one and 13. Yeah, that's... There's no escaping the, 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 the sad times, the depression that Walter <laughs> might have at the moment. Hopefully he can bring it back. As, when you have play, uh, a player that is kind of that quiet of course if he does come alive that could be the variable to bring you back into it so maybe that's it walter able to pick up that one frag he's, he's tasted blood in this map 
He's out for it now as well, Fenny and Walter both go down without much of a fight at all here as it's very early a three on five. It is a save scenario, but still Quest hoping to find success even on a round like this. Yeah, they're hoping. <laughs> I think there's very little amount of hope now. As 12 to two will be the score for Penta moving on to the T side. They're going to be able to close. Quest is just going to have to play out of their minds on CT. I don't think Penta will be stuffed as hard as Quest is. And I think Penta, if they do go down early and Quest begins to mount a comeback, I think Penta will be better at finding solutions. I'm thinking of uh, back to an overpass game where Penta looked so strong in organizing uh, their, their T side. And I just don't see them getting held below five rounds on the T side, even if they lose pistol. So we're moving into the final round of the first half. That triple op look here on the CT side. Classic Mirage strategy. Got Lowell getting aggressive with his E1. Picks him on the edge of the smoke. So Quest finding an early frag. And Z1 is actually... Okay, that's one way of going about it. Luckily, Walter is able to trade off of his teammate's death. Z1 just hops out into the bomb site itself. Making their way out through a ramp, two towards triple box now. Finding the damage onto Crystal as he tried to make it up and over the ticket booth. And it looks like they should, okay, Mike guess with the bayonet like frag on a Walter, but the round does go the way of Quest. Three on their T side. <sighs> just can't say that's enough. Can't call it a throwaway round for Penta there. They just tried to end the last round of the half with the, some authority, maybe carry some extra momentum in, but instead they give a round over to Quest. However, that doesn't, it doesn't increase the pistol round buffer if they lose it all. They needed four to hit that mark. Maybe if Quest win pistol, they need that economy, and then they can use that, uh, that little buffer that they will have. But it all starts with winning pistol, which Penta have been 100% on. Yeah, 100% pistol. Yeah, looking good indeed. In this best of three again. The winner moves on to our playoff bracket for the closed qualifier in our Pro Series 2016. And uh, the loser will drop out, unfortunately. So, looking like Quest might be sent packing here unless they can have uh, a huge CT side performance. That is the requirement. Maybe Walter can be their front runner, 2 2 and 15, as it's come alive in the last couple rounds. But uh, again, needs to bring it into this one. They all do, as Penta, let's take a look at the equipment being purchased. A couple vests, Kyrie and Tossin, two smokes, a couple flashes to work with. So we'll see where they decide to go. Everybody is pointed towards A, so got to think that it, it is an A-side execute. Walter with a single smoke towards middle here. What are they going for? Just a mid-presence where they... Okay, he's going to boost up towards Kalok. As we can see, it makes no difference. It is an A-side hit, and this is honestly weakening their defense just a little bit as they make it on in. Such a cool peek there by Crystal, too. The way he peeked into A-Main, Walter's able to get a frag anyways. A single player rushing into the spawn and having second thoughts as he sees two members of Quest, but this is a favorable duel for the CT side. They just need to win it at Ticket, and then they begin to open up onto the bomb site. There it is, they do. A quest staying alive here, presumably, unless Crystal and Mike S just go off. And Crystal finds a lot of damage under Rami. Z1, but not able to finish the shots he started. I, uh, they were some nice ones, but not actually finding the follow-up bullet. Of course, that, uh, that, that doesn't mean very much now, does it? Quest with their fourth round. So the pickup pistol, convincingly as well. Maybe they can build off of it. Maybe. They need... I expect some PT-50s to come out here from Penta. Or just a flash. Okay, some PT-50s there with just a flash. I like this. With that one flash, it'll give them some more access to that B-bomb site. And with the P250s, bigger chance to take away some of these bigger guns of Quest. And who knows, maybe even the round. I like this buy. This is this is optimized for Penta in my eyes. Because if you buy P250s and a guy with one flash, that'll allow you still a good gun round to follow and still a chance to strip away weapons. This is exactly what I want to see after you get a bomb plant. My guess again, he will be the utility man. Going to flash over this wall in hopes that they can swarm onto one of the players and 
All right, here we go. Catwalk player and Benny. Put up a decent hold. He drops an incendiary as well, but NSW falls. It looks like that will be the extent of their success. So Fenny almost dropped, but comes up with a quad kill. And we're hoping to find a bomb plant, but when it doesn't come in, like you had stated, they buy just enough that even if they don't get that bomb plant, they uh, they have a decent buy here. So let's see, AKs on everyone. Crystal actually bought a little bit more than I had anticipated, so he will not pick up an AK here. He's got uh, Tech 9 and full utility. So the first gun round will be a quick collapse onto A. Faster they go, the better, as the mid players of Quest are pushed up. They don't see a thing. And they'll begin to go towards B primarily. This is disastrous from Quest, and they lose their single A player. Do you give up the round right here? But it's hard for Quest because they know they don't have many rounds to give up. I think they'll go for it now, though. And there's a contest towards the CT side between... Kyrie as well as Z1, but the retake is on this flank. Critical. Mike S will take it. So Kyrie with Crystal towards CT spawn. I imagine they're trying to get a double peek going here, but they just spray them down. So two players left up for either end, but CTs are limping at this point. But they stay shoulder to shoulder. Mike S should be able to find this ground, even though it's a two on one. But. CTs, they have dropped a smoke on the bomb here. Benny goes down to the spam, and now it's only Z1 coming up from a close angle. Gives up his location, and Mike S. Can we find his triple kill and win the round. Penta, they sprint out into A. Like you had stated, they take down that single ticket booth, single defender towards the CT spawn area. And uh, uh, credit to Quest, I think it was NSW. He spammed through a smoke from Catwalk towards triple box and created a five on four, but um, or a four on four rather, at least bringing it back a little bit. But uh, Quest just can't get it done. Penta's definitely been winning the the guessing game, like right at the start of the round, whether it be eco rounds or on gun rounds, just choosing the site to hit that seems the the weakest without any intel on your side. It's, they're winning it with such consistency that it, it's hard to call it the guessing game. Uh, Penta just getting the edge there. Mid control developed. Quest going for the force buy. They know they got to win this one. This would be a double save for Penta if they lost it. Of course, depending on the bomb plant or not. But with mid control early for Penta and a player outside of A, I think Penta will collapse onto A, but just giving Quest a little bit of time to take duels if they want to at mid. Z1 finds Tossin towards Connector, so good start to the round. Penta, they are posturing towards this Connector position, so does Z1 expect some more players here? Flash comes out, Z1, take down the first Crystal with two, though, as he comes out of the Palace area. Well, Walter makes his way up Connector, meets the barrel of Lowell, and it will be a two-on-two -two as NSW finds his way back with the bomb going down. Oh no. Scratch. Crystal now all alone. He only has 19 HP. Quest a little bit wounded. Right, still probably going to need the headshot first. Going for a really tricky angle here. Connector player doesn't peek, but if he did, might not have seen Crystal. Crystal looking for two headshots. His Quest only need one bullet onto him. NSW, will he expect him on top of the site? Yes, he does. Quest staying alive with two. It's his. I mean, Penta still could go for the force here. They don't have to. It's one of those questionable decisions. Like, you know, if you win that next round, the game is over. But you know you only have to save one uh, to get a full buy in the next. So 13 to 6. Again, NSW able to complete the round with that frag. And Penta, 2,000 and a bit on everyone. So... We'll see how much they decide to invest, as I don't have a lot of loss bonus to work with, obviously. So, simple save, more or less. Toss in with the best in Deagle. But that's because he had a little bit more than the rest. So, heading towards... Uh, interesting here. My guess is actually still inside a spawn. Crystal heading towards B. So, spread out approach on an eco. We'll see if Penta, I suppose, if they can find some 1v1s. Those Deagles make it an alright chance for it. Maybe they can find some sort of opening, but it is going to be four towards A. They've got Crystal coming from underpass. I'm curious what his timing is. Does he pinch before the players execute? Dawson's made his way out from the ramp, but they let out two players. Crystal still waiting inside a connector. He's got a player behind him, but it's Z1 to find him in the end. So, flawless round from Quest. 
exactly what they needed. Penta was hoping to get a couple frags, maybe keep quest and reset distance. Penta even considering another save. I mean, usually when everybody's above 3,700, uh, the decision is instant. But maybe just discussing the buy rather than if they should save or not. On quest, economy, I mean, they still can make use of that buffer. They will have an okay spot in the next round upon losing. Of course, they want to avoid that at all cost. The sooner they can get that safe economy, uh, the safer they will be. I mean, they don't want to lose a round just yet. As Penta will begin to slowly creep towards this B side, we have Fenny on scene as well. NSW and Fenny going to start to set up the crossfire. Ooh, denied entrance from the window. I think he was blocked by an incendiary of Fenny. Very unfortunate. As Penta will immediately put on the brakes and now reverse back towards uh, the connector area. I don't think Quest will be too shocked by this, though, as they still have... Uh, Pretty deep setup at the A side. I mean, Walter down A stairs. If Penta just commit, I think they will lose at this A bomb site. One for one at mid. The Penta bleeding players. This is looking good for Quest. Fenny is going to fall into the window room. We can see the play has actually been moved back towards B. So Tossin can find an opening here. He's waltzing up Cat. NSW is playing towards Van. So pretty hidden location. I don't think Tossin's going to spot him before his teammates come out of B apartments. Well, it depends on the timing, really. As Tossin slowly creeping up here. Again, only that single defender. So if NSW goes down, immediate bombsite control to Penta. And Fenny, he has made his way back on a catwalk, though. So scratch that as another player comes into the equation. But Tossin hasn't looked back towards Cat either. He's just going to stay inside of Market. And eventually, they find out that NSW is towards Van. Back and forth we go as Tossin finds... The blindsided Fenny. He's got enough time to get the bomb down. Oh, he didn't notice that it's actually below the balcony. He has no time at all. You played yourself. Be, uh, that's going to be the save. Looking good for Quest, I guess. And Tossin taking some damage from Rami. I guess he just didn't want to lose that. Tossin will, I mean, get his AK in this one. But uh, problem is, he won't get any money on this round. So next round will be a little ill. Unless they just decide to force up here. Um, I guess Penta are really hoping for a bomb plan here. Otherwise, this next round will get a bit iffy. -a. That's the problem when one player saves like that. It distorts the money a whole bunch. And can create some questionable decisions. I mean, again, without the plant, I mean, what's the math? We got 14, 19, 24, 29. Yeah, without a plant, this is going to be a, a pretty gross buy next round for Penta. We'll see what they can get done towards a very heavy presence towards Ramp and Palace. As another smoke comes in towards Palace, so should delay the play a little bit here. But if you're Penta, you're worried about the rest of the map being controlled by the CTs and this being a telegraphed play, of course. So need to find a balance in the timing of when they decide to actually commit here. Walter is going to be playing underneath the balcony. We got Rami towards the ticket booth. And here we go. Smoke's raining out. Lowell taking the first... Shots. He takes Rami down very low. Lowell actually finds Walter as well. So great start to this A-side take as uh, they don't have any smokes down towards CT spawn, but maybe that's intentional. Looking to take some aim duels as Kyrie is posted on that location. Z1 actually playing right at right most Whoa. enough that he lets him up to the ticket booth. Fenny goes down to the pistol. So four on three as Lowell finds another. Oh my god. The quests just fall apart. They're waiting for the smokes to dissipate to then begin to use their own utility to clear a bunch of spots and then take a favorable four on four retake due to penta having nothing left but then mike guess pushes into jungle another duel is lost and then one after that by quest losing all sorts of one versus ones i think uh mike guess caught a player with a smoke or something out when quest were waiting for those to uh, to dissipate it looked very familiar, it felt familiar to that round where Quest uh, lost on a force buy on Cash, where it looked like a favorable situation, and then they just fall apart out of nowhere. Damn, that's, uh, that's a difficult one to witness. Quest moving into the follow-up round here without much to work with at all. Deagle on Z1. Uh, Walter's getting aggressive through a ramp at the moment, so playing that one-way smoke. Tries to peer over top of it, but won't see anything. So he continues his push. We'll see how far he goes here. Penta, they haven't been 
necessarily quick to the trigger, quick to execute. So maybe this timing comes in and, and Walter can do something big here. He actually decides to reroute towards Palace, which Crystal was just damaged there. So easy frag for Walter in theory as Crystal pulls an aid. Still three towards middle as Fenny taking some fire here. Takes down Mike S. It looks like he's willing to re-peak, but he goes down to Tossin. So Penta, if they go quickly on to B, they might have a three on one. That window has closed as now Z1 has arrived. NSW hearing the scope of Kyrie, but I kind of like how Kyrie does that. He scopes a bunch and then looks towards truck. Usually it's the other way around. I think he's just trying to bait out a peek from the truck player. Cute little play there from Kyrie, but NSW doesn't fall for it. Lowell now left alone versus four. This guy can be quite dangerous. Uh, Lowell and Kyrie, of course, the, the Spanish players brought over. Uh, splitting up uh, what roster was it they've that spanish roster had been through so many different organizations i'm, I'm just not even going to put a name on it i mean g bots is what you can see Kyrie in his Kick, picture i think he's yes. wearing it right i think that they were like yeah it, there's a lot of variations i'm trying to think there was over i want to say overwork but there's a song that i'm thinking of over gaming was that it it had like the bowl kind of logo anyhow nonetheless i don't have someone some, some, someone will correct me uh, let me know if you've been seeing those players were on there. I, I, I'm pretty certain that Kairu is on there. But, uh, the more anyhow. orcs you throw out, I mean, you're going to hit one. Right, exactly. Just, <laughs> just try and name them all. Well, Quest, we'll see if they can actually bring this back. We've got nine rounds. One more would put them on double digits as we see this Congo line through underpass. Looks like Penta might go for some sort of boost play. They have one AK to work with on Luel. And like you had stated, he has been hitting some nutty shots. Takes down Walter first and foremost, so not a bad start at all, considering they're ill-equipped. Dump some more of that, and they're in this round. And they're already in it. Now looking for the boost play. Fenny, if he gets up on the catwalk, that'll be another one versus one. This is exactly what Penta's looking for. Let's challenge this AK as much as possible and then recycle it. They don't get the catwalk peak, but Crystal... The sneaky man of Penta does find his way into CT. Fenny will get Kyrie, but the AK should be in position to go for the trade on it. And Lowell will win that duel. Another one of those rounds where Quest, they should be able to win it quite cleanly, but then they fall apart. That seems to be the story of the match so far. Whenever Quest, it looks like they're going to get back into it. They lose a round where they should have no business losing, but they still have a chance here. Tossin and my guess. Austin with only a deagle. Mike guess without armor, so he's playing a headshot angle towards CT spawn. I don't mind this, but it does separate him from his teammate. Uh, he finds the first one. NSW now knows the location of Mike S, but does not know where Tossin's at. Tossin, a nice deep flash up and over. It does not, actually, I think it did affect NSW. Yeah, so full white. Great work. Great teamwork. Considering Tossin, he only has a deagle. He was, like, hunting around on catwalk. He's like, I need to find a way to help, to help my teammate. What do I do? Like... The bomb plant positioning, he could watch it from catwalk, but it wouldn't be very comfortable with only a deagle. So uh, luckily he found that flash and that, that did make the difference. So great work from him. Man, it's so weird for Quest. The last time we saw them, it was a complete fall apart by Rami. And then as a result of that, like the calls up, like were bad as well from Quest. But today Quest seemed game, at least. When, when it comes to the gun rounds and everything like that, they they seemed on point today. Like, they could have actually given Penta a run for their money, but there's been, you know, three or four situations where Penta has just found rounds that they shouldn't have been able to win. As a result, gotten more due to the economy aspect of the game. It's not quest day to have uh, Walter be the bottom, and it's hasn't even been, like, like a power bottom either. We haven't been impact frags, Chad. Yeah. Quest with three players remaining, make it two. Go on three, not a completely unviable situation, but NSW put down. It's only Benny to keep this dream alive. And uh, he's dropped by Kyrie, so 16 to nine. Quest, they will bow out of the tournament as Penta. They will join Tricked out of uh, Group B and move into our playoff bracket. So again, we haven't released uh, the, the bracket or anything just yet. Again, we're still finishing up these groups, but uh, make sure you guys Check back to our RGN Twitter to find more information on that. Of course, just at GoRGNTV. And uh, I do believe our next match is going to be 
Another European one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looks like Archangel versus Epsilon. That must be a different... That must be a team that's, like, changed names in the midst of things. Because there's no way that I haven't actually... I have no idea who Arch that roster Angels? is. Archangels? Ar 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 Archangels. Archangels, rather. Yeah. I think Let both, me just, both are right. Okay, fair enough. I'm just unaware of that lineup completely. So, I'm a big noob. No big deal. Probably expected as much. But uh, if you want to follow... Myself on Twitter, you can do so at Sprawl, two L's on the end, at LazerGs for my good buddy here. And like I had stated, we do have a match tomorrow, Archangel versus Epsilon. That's a best of three. And it is our upper bracket winners match in Group A. So certainly they have played before. Let me just see. I swear that they were under a different... Okay, was it... They were called... Who did they... They beat Kaz 2-1, and they're in Sivo as... It's X public clear. Okay, thank goodness. Got it. I was like, oh my goodness, that's uh, yeah, that makes uh, it makes all the sense now. So that's going to be what we're looking at. Uh, that'll be at 1 p.m. EST tomorrow. So again, hopefully you guys can tune in. But that is it for today. So uh, hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you next time.